guys welcome back to another video in today's video i will be showing you a work day in my life wherein i will be showing you all the work that goes behind making a single video so let's get started with today's video but before that i would like you to please please subscribe to my channel and also please hit the like button so let's get started so while getting ready for the day i quickly go through all the work that i have to do for that day and i get my mind ready for the amount of work that needs to be get done so a day before i actually planned everything planning as in what all videos i want to post for this week for the coming week actually i plan everything a month before the video ideas not the entire thing just the video ideas so over here i was just um, listing down the days that i want to post youtube shorts so i was also listing down when should i post shorts so that it is not like a spam for you all so i was spacing out the videos and the shorts so back to the present day over here i was actually now scripting the video scripting a video will take around an hour or so maybe a couple of hours but it takes me a lot of time because i need to plan the scenes it depends totally on what type of video i'm creating if it is a silent vlog then it requires a lot of scripting but if it is a freestyle like a daily vlog it is not much planned it goes normally and there's no much planning about it uh, I'm trying to pre-film certain videos for the month of July so that I am free in that month because I have a lot of things coming up. Now let's get to the filming part. In the filming part, I am now shooting from my phone. So the footage that you are seeing is through my phone and I am just setting up my camera. I use this tripod from Amazon which was my first purchase for this channel. Here I am showing you all the settings that I use in my camera and I normally use the manual mode. I don't shoot in the video mode or the movie recording mode um, you can note down the settings as it would be very helpful for you And from phone I even shoot from my phone so these are the settings that I go for I choose the maximum resolution in my phone I have 4k 60 FPS which is more than enough and I use that and then I adjust the exposure and I lock it so that it doesn't change in between the video this is an important step because it will help in making a video a little moderate and you won't have different lighting in your video so yes lock that and that is it I'll do these settings for my phone now that i have decided to use the youtube shorts feature now i will be planning what all shorts i should create for the channel as of now i am just reposting what i had made for instagram reels but i also intend to create new content for youtube that is what i was planning according to the trends and what all things people like to watch So after having my lunch, I finally take a break and I watch a K-drama. That is my stress buster and I cannot stress enough how much I love watching these shows. Uh, currently, I'm watching Startup and I absolutely loved it and I would definitely recommend you to watch it. Mm -hmm. 
같은 세상에 살고 싶지 않겠죠. 보다 나은. After relaxing for like two to three hours, I get back to my work, and that is editing. I keep editing for the later part of the day because it's an intense work and it requires a lot of energy. But I have the least energy at the end of the day. But I still like to edit in the evening. Editing is my favorite part because here it is where I can create magic and it decides my video because it it is the deciding factor for my video because editing is the make or break. part of a video So after importing all the footages, I now organize the scenes and how I want to show everything over here. I'm editing a daily diary episode that would go on Sunday. So yes, that is what I'm doing over here. If you're someone new and you're stuck with how I should edit, you you can go on YouTube and search for so many YouTubers of your type, and you can see the way they edit. You can take inspiration from them and add your own. taste to it and that is what even i do because i like to take inspiration from my fellow youtubers who are doing such great things so it is nice to do some research i honestly draw a storyboard kind of thing in my diary and i accordingly uh, try to replicate it on my computer i just imagine the intro and the scenes and the chapters and i draw it act in my diary over here i just did rough edit which is the initial part of editing a video and it rough edit itself takes me around 2 hours and i just did the basics of the video and that is it if you have any other doubt related to editing you can drop a comment in the comment box and i will answer them Guys, I'm almost done with the editing, and like I've done the major part, that is the rough edit, and now I will just have to do the intro, outro, adding the chapter scene, and that is it. Today was an intense day because I have been procrastinating a lot, so I had to get some work done. So that is why I filmed the entire day so that even you get motivated and you get productive with me. So I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below. And please share my video with your friends so that more and more people get to know about my channel. And that is how you will be able to help me grow my channel and i will be very very grateful to you all that is it from today's video i hope you liked it and i'll see you in the next video bye